welcome to Brothers MD. Today we are going to discuss an abstract presented at the American Diabetes Association Scientific Sessions held in San Francisco, California in June 2014. The abstract focuses on new findings that suggest that impaired renal function is a diabetes risk equivalent in patients with coronary artery disease. The abstract was submitted by Drexel et al. presented by Christoph Saley. Now let's have a more detailed look. The objective of the study was to investigate the individual and joint effects of type 2 diabetes and of chronic kidney disease on cardiovascular events in patients with angiographically proven coronary artery disease. Chronic kidney disease was defined as a glomerular filtration rate of less than 60. The study was designed as a prospective cohort with a sample size of 1,423 patients with angiographically proven coronary artery disease over a duration of 10 years. The observations. Looking at the individual risk factors of type 2 diabetes and CKD, non-diabetic patients had a 28.7% risk of cardiovascular events in comparison to diabetic patients who had a 39.1% risk. Non-CKD patients had a 28.7% risk, while patients with CKD had a 47.2% risk of cardiovascular events. Now looking at the combined risk factors of diabetes and CKD, patients with CAD without diabetes or CKD had a 26.3% risk while patients with both diabetes and CKD had a 53.5% risk. In conclusion, CKD and diabetes contribute synergistically to cardiovascular event risk in patients with coronary artery disease. CKD can be viewed as much of a risk equivalent as type 2 diabetes in patients with CAD. Although the sample size of the abstract is relatively small, it creates new research opportunities to further explore how varying levels of renal function may affect the cardiovascular risk in CAD patients. For more information regarding this abstract or any other presentation at the ADA scientific session, please follow the links below. Be sure to subscribe to us for more videos, and thank you for watching.